now for the lightning talk that everyone was waiting for. Finally, a turnkey solution for labeling medical images and training great medical AI models. Hello, my name is Marcos Novaes and I'm a solution architect with the Google Cloud Healthcare and Life Sciences team. And in this talk, we will discuss the challenges in the area of medical image annotation and the impact that medical annotations have in the development of accurate AI models for medicine. And to lead this discussion, it is my pleasure to welcome today my colleague, Brad Janiru, who is Global Lead for Healthcare Alliances with NVIDIA. So Brad, what are the challenges related to medical image annotation and how can we overcome them? Thanks, Marcos. That's a great question. You know, one of the challenges in building great medical imaging models is to have great medical imaging annotation. And to do that, we need clinical expertise, clinicians spending their valuable time to review medical imaging studies and identify organs, diseases, anomalies, and much more. They need to be able to access annotation tools on demand, connected into the applications they already use and require a seamless, resilient experience. Our domain needs SDKs to put this within reach of our medical teams. So let's take a look at the medical imaging AI ecosystem. We could break down AI in the medical imaging space into really two groups of workflows, training and inference. We're focusing today on that first step, curating data from imaging sources and creating ground truth. Once we have that ground truth, uh, we're gonna use that to train our AI models. Uh, we might take uh, existing AI models and fine tune it. We might work together with other hospitals and use federated learning and train models together while protecting sensitive patient data. Once we, we have a model, uh, we would then package that up for validation and for evaluation. On the inference path, uh, we're going to be taking that model and packaging it up into an AI application. Uh, we would take that AI application and connect it into our medical imaging workflows uh, from our packs or from our modalities, sending DICOM back and getting results, and then ultimately visualizing those results uh, in our medical imaging viewers. But today we're focusing on creating great annotation. So let's take a look at our clinical scenario. It bears repeating a high quality AI model starts with high quality labeled data. So if we look at our clinical scenario, imagine that we have a hospital, we've got clinicians, uh, and uh, in this hospital, a radiologist has been asked uh, to annotate 100 imaging studies to identify the kidneys in them. So they're going to, uh, so our uh, clinician here will open up an imaging study, uh, a CT study, uh, navigate down to midway past the kidney, uh, and using the Monai label tool, click on the kidney and then have that selected in 3D space. That clinician will then do a quick review, uh, do any you know, minor touch-ups as necessary and accept that annotation and then move on to the next imaging studies. So the question is, how do we make this a reality? This is where Monai SDK comes in. Uh, Monai is an open source consortium, an SDK, that helps us accelerate the pace of research innovation with a common foundation. Uh, it's built together from academia and industry from around the world to take the best and brightest into an SDK that we can take and then integrate into the rest of our medical imaging e ecosystem. It has a number of different components uh, following those two groups of uh, workflows that I uh, discussed earlier. Uh, we've got Monai Label, uh, which allows us to connect into viewers with an SDK uh, to uh, be able to annotate uh, rapidly the, our medical imaging studies. Uh, so whether it's organs or anomalies, as I previously mentioned. We have Monai Core that helps us take ground truth that we've identified and create those medical imaging models. We then have Monai Deploy to help us package uh, and connect into our medical imaging ecosystems. Taking a look at the architecture stack, it starts from our platform uh, with our uh, either, you know, with uh, Google Cloud and Vertex, uh, with DGX, uh, with, uh, you know, our off-the-shelf servers that we have in our hospital data centers. 
we layer on the platform, we layer on uh, the Monai tooling, and we end up creating applications to service the needs of our clinicians within our hospitals. Uh, we're gonna take a, a little bit of a deeper dive on the Monai label piece, but there's components that address uh, everything with a shared stack that we uh, connect into all of these different applications. So taking a look at Monai label in particular, uh, an open source SDK that we connect into our medical imaging viewers. Uh, we already done some of the heavy lifting uh, to connect it into open source 3D slicer uh, and as well as a zero footprint web viewer called OHEF. Uh, doing this, these integrations uh, really helped uh, developers, uh, really helped the entire ecosystem to drive forward connecting Monai Label uh, to help us uh, annotate studies. Uh, what we're able to do uh, uh, with Monai Label is uh, send a DICOM or, or using DICOM web to be able to access uh, that uh, entire 3D space of a medical imaging study, uh, do the, the inference, that annotation, and ship that back to the viewer for rendering. Monai Label even has an active learning component and gets smarter over time so that as we are annotating our imaging studies, uh, the, the accuracy uh, just keeps going up. Uh, so all of this connected with uh, our medical imaging viewers helps to enable our radiologists and clinicians as part of their annotation process. So looking at this, uh, as I mentioned, uh, to do great annotation, we need a great SDK and a great platform to run this on. So Marcos, I'd love to hear from you. From a platform perspective, uh, where do we put one eye label? Well, Brad, look no farther. You put it in Google Cloud, of course. And here I'm demonstrating a, a diagram that shows my favorite way. There are several configurations that are possible, but I'm showing a, a very nice way to implement Monai Label on Google Cloud. As you said, Brad, Monai Label supports the DICOM standard. Mm -hmm. And here I'm demonstrating how you can use the Google native DICOM store as the storage backend for Monai Label. And that gives you a lot of scalability. And I'm also showing here that there is an interesting option to deploy Monai label within the 3D slicer application embedded in a Jupyter notebook. And by doing this, you have all the power of Monai label together with the power of the Python language. And in this way, you can access the other components that I'm showing there, which is a BigQuery cloud storage. And most importantly, you can. Uh, access and orchestrate AI models running in Vertex AI. And now this is accessible through a web browser because that's the way that Jupyter Notebooks work. And here you can see uh, a screenshot of this deployment in practice. We are looking here at the window of uh, a Jupyter Notebook. And within it, we have this graphical application to a remote desktop that is embedded in the notebook, which is showing the 3D slicer application. And at the left side, you can see the Monai label plugin. And you can see the active learning component there. The user can select uh, images to annotate, annotate those images and submit the annotations. And that will cause the annotations to be written back to the DICOM store in the DICOM format and makes them immediately visible to other researchers. So as you can see, uh, in the terms of the whole uh, workflow of developing AI models, that the notebooks take center stage in this workflow and in inclusive because the AI label uh, that happens in Monai label is an interactive process. So it's, there's actually a cycle of improving the data set as we go along. And the notebooks allow the researchers to do this at the same time having access to Vertex AI and calling in other parts of the Monai framework as well. So what's next? Well, join us in the effort to build better medical AI models. Visit monai.io and check out the latest features and join the community. And then deploy Monai in Google Cloud and leverage the power of Vertex AI. And together, we can then build better medical models and help us to advance the science. So Brad, thanks so much for the presentation and for uh, showing to us how the power of the Monai framework 
and thanks everyone for listening.